Let's see if you can do the following example. A diver jumps off a diving board that is six feet above the water at a velocity of 20 feet per second. For t greater or equal zero in seconds, his height s in feet above the water is modeled. Modeled means it's an equation that represents the actual scenario. Find the height of the diver at these particular times or seconds. So again, we will do exactly what we did before, tabular form. So you'll actually have to evaluate s of 0, s of 0.5. I'm going to let you do that. So go ahead, pause the video, see what you can do. All right, let's see what you got. So go ahead and check your answers and see if this is what you have. And if you are stuck, remember what you're going to do? So let's do 0. If you plug in 0 for t, negative 16 times 0 squared is 0. 20 times 0 plus 6. So that will give you 6. 0.5, plug in 0.5 for all the t's you see here. So you can do that on your own. But now you tell me what it represents. So here's the graph of it. I've already graphed it for you. You can also go and graph it on Desmos yourself. And you can see that 0.625, 12.25 is the maximum height that the diver is going to reach at 0.625 seconds. And then what? As the diver keeps going down, the height will decrease. Eventually, the diver will hit the water. And what is this coordinate right here? It looks like 1.5. So in 1.5 seconds, the diver is going to be in the water. These coordinates, 0, 6, and 1.5, 0, these coordinates play a specific role. We say this 0, 6 is our S intercept or our vertical intercept. Intercept means where the graph hits the axis, the vertical axis. So our vertical intercept is at t equals 0 at s of 0, 6 feet. What does that mean? It's the height of the diver before lifting off to dive. This other number that's on the other side, the horizontal intercept, so that's when the time at which the diver hits the water, so our horizontal intercept is at t equals 1.5, or s of 1.5 is 0. That's our horizontal intercept. So again, look very carefully. When the output is 0, that's the horizontal intercept. When the input is 0, that's our vertical intercept. Two concepts here. Horizontal intercept, output 0. Vertical intercept, input 0. Just remember that. All right, let's summarize everything we have so far then. So we have what? What have we learned so far in section 1.1? Definition of a function. Function means a rule that takes in a number as an input, assigns it to one exactly one output. Every input gets one output. We also looked at different ways to represent functions. Once you have definition of a function, we also saw function notation or equation. You can also learn to identify what is your independent and dependent variables. All the different ways we can represent a function is verbally, which is like a sentence, Tabular, where you make a table and make uh, two columns for input, output. Function notation, where you have f of x equals something. Input is inside the function. Output is what comes out of the function. And then graphical representation, where you connect all the dots and connect all the points that you graphed. Or you can use any graphical utilities, like graphing calculators or Desmos. So that is our summary for what we learned in section 1.1.